Yeshayahu, Isaiah 16. Send ye the lamb to the ruler of the land, from Silah to the wilderness, unto the mount of the daughter of Sion. For it shall be that, as a wandering bird cast out of the nest, so the daughters of Moab shall be at the fords of Arnan. Take counsel, execute judgment, make your shadow as the night in the midst of the noonday. Hide the outcasts, bewray not him that wanders. Let my outcasts dwell with you, Moab. Be a covert to them from the face of the spoiler. For the extortioner is at an end. The spoiler ceases. The oppressors are consumed out of the land. And in mercy shall the throne be established. And he shall sit upon it in truth. In the tabernacle of David. Judging and seeking judgment. And hasting righteousness. We have heard the, of the pride of Moab. He is very proud, even of his haughtiness and his pride and his wrath. But his lies shall not be so. Therefore shall Moab howl for Moab. Everyone shall howl. For the foundations of Kir Chazareth shall ye mourn. Surely they are stricken. For the fields of Chesban languish, and the vine of Savam, the Baalim of the heathen, have broken down the principal plants thereof. They are come un even unto Yaazir. They wandered through the wilderness. Her branches are stretched out. They are gone over the sea. Therefore I will bewail with the weeping of Yaazir, the vine of Savam. I will water you with my tears, O Chesban and El Ale, for the shouting, for the for your summer fruits, and for your harvest is fallen, and gladness is taken away, and joy out of the plentiful field, and in the vineyards there shall be no singing, neither shall there be shouting. The treaders shall tread out no wine in their presses. I have made their vintage shouting to cease. Wherefore my heart shall sound like a harp for Moab, and my inward parts for Kir Cheres. And it shall come to pass when it is seen that Moab is weary on the high place, that he shall come to his sanctuary to pray but he shall not prevail. This is the word that Yahuwah has spoken concerning Moab since that time. But now Yahuwah has spoken, saying, Within three years as the years of an hireling, and the glory of Moab shall be contemned. With all that great multitude, and the remnant shall be very small and feeble.